Hey folks, Omi Gaming here with a brand new episode of Let's Play X3 Farnham's Legacy. Yeah, you like it? Um, yeah. So, um, probably should go south, uh, where the headquarters is. But I want to check the sector that we started in, to see if that little icon finding doohickey McJob McThing um, shows anything. Um, so that's where we're off to. Now, thankfully, it does put us in the Advanced Discoverer, which is a fast ship. The Argon um, Discoverer, compared to other ships in the Argon fleet, is relatively young. It is armed with two lasers, is light. Um, uh, four lasers. Maybe that's the advanced of so Entering the void. Okay, Ita. let's see what's in here. Ship Debris. Okay, so there's gonna be... Okay, so it's something in that direction. Journal page. There we go. Cargo bay now contains journal page. Right. Um. That's the shut down gear, isn't it? Um. Yep. Uh, if anyone's wondering how to hide the HUD, it is Shift and H for HUD. Um, and that toggles between handy for screenshots. So, we grab the, okay, actually, while we are flying there-ish, yeah, um, messages, wasn't it? was an encyclopedia. Ah, yes. It's an encyclopedia. We emerged here totally unexpectedly. The crew were utterly astounded and wringing their tentacles in dismay. With any gate navigation errors in the past, we were always able to retrace our route back through our arrival gate. Not so this time. There's no sign of a gate. After a lengthy search, we have still not found any planets with welcoming swamps or seas. Even our Algain... Neutropast, neutropasty, neutropast, is getting low, as we did not anticipate such a long journey. Worse still, we have no system nav data, as the final swamp gas bubble, the ship's generator is becoming unstable and be giving overload warnings. I am only sustained by the thought of the Terran Farnham, who aeons ago discovered that jump gate or jump drives need a focus at both ends to lock onto. There surely must be something somewhere in the system that brought us here and that can therefore offer us a way back or at least take us somewhere more hospitable. I do not trust the generator to last much longer before it overheats and boils us so I have decided to squeeze the crew into our fast shuttles to improve our chances of finding assistance while we still live. We will all be crammed in tighter than a swamp clam's grin. We place our hope in the lucky lord guide us as I doubt that we will ever swim with this ship again, Muluna. So, they're right to abandon it, because, you know. Ship debris. Looks like an orca. That'll buff out. Right, um. 
So we will now go in and go down the Entering side. The void. Zeta. Mosquito missile removed. Oops. Mosquito missile installed. Um. Okay, I will not go in the south gate here because there isn't one. Um. It's not that I can see, anyway. So this place sells is a source of ore and silicon wafers. That's a source of plankton. Entering the void, Epsilon. And so I think go. Entering the void. Theta. The biogas factory. Go through chemical lab. Start mixer. Eh? Must be something around here. Biogas factory L Alpha. You are talking. What do we have? I am transmitting the information you require. Now this mission will be far from difficult. Do you? Um. You yeah. are talking. What? Do I am transmitting the information it's... you require. Now this. Artifacts. How heavy are artifacts? That's right. Find is um. No idea. Um, you are talking to the. What do you? I am transmitting the you information. Four on M four. That's you what are happened. talking. What do we? This is what we require. This mission will be far from difficult. Do you feel I have something of interest? See, I would take them, but I don't know how big they are. Because if their cargo volume is one, say like the one megajoule shield. I could fit them, but if it's more than one, I'll not be able to. And I was trying to find them in the uh, entering the void encyclopedia. Epsilon. So the only real, well, unless there's something. Hmm. 
Entering the Void Delta. You are talking to the automated interrupt. What troubles do I have here is what we need on Holy One. Definitely can't do that. Um, you are talking to you. you. I shall transmit. Can't do that either, because where am I going to get it to Lady M5 from? So, um, the best or really only option. Yeah, that, that's another nice little um, thing this has is abbreviations. So, GO is a gunner ship, M0 is a planet killer, M1 carrier, M1 plus heavy carrier, M2 destroyer, M2 plus battleship. Entering the void. Um, shift an I to get to here. Um, M3 medium fighter, M3 plus heavy fighter, M4 interceptor, M4 plus light fighter, M5 scout, M6 corvette, M6 plus heavy corvette, M7 frigate, M7 plus heavy frigate, M7C carrier frigate. M7B drone carrier, M7M missile frigate, M7M plus boarding frigate, M8 is a bomber, M8 plus heavy bomber, PL transport large, PM transport military, TM is sir, the ones usually with little hangar base, TP transport personnel, TP plus military personnel transport, TS transport small, TS plus a freighter, and there's all the other. Yeah. Um, a little stuff in my guff. Entering the void, Gamma. So, let's go back to this and see if something becomes Hyperspeed available. Hyperspeed access point. Because I can't find anywhere where you can. I said hyperspace. Space? Um, I can't find anything that uh, you can buy. Said uh, the interplanetary drive system is. I guess it just says the price, but if it's purchasable. Usually tells you. Oh, we're shooting this like a madman. But what's it aiming at if I shoot? Absolutely nothing. Right. What's available? Okay, so I can activate. Command accepted. Is that it? Entering the void. Alpha. So you target it. Hyperspeed access and you just point. Activate. The void. Gamma. I feel silly now. Oh well, uh, at least that's progress. Holy vision. Epsilon. Holy Vision, that sounds like um, Harnid. And that's a jump gate too. Rather than the uh, interplanetary scooter. Entering Holy Vision Epsilon. Unholy One, you would be wise to leave this sector immediately. Your current status prohibits you from entering all primary paranoid sectors. Failure to do so will result in lethal force being directed against you. You have one Mizora to comply. Yep, that's what I thought. Mission aborted. Now what? Paranid escort Pegasus. Entering Talk. the void. Alpha. Well. So I'll be running back to him. Access point. And I'll be going. Avoid. Find Gamma. the pirated. They want to kill me. And yeah.
Command accepted. Entering the Void, Gamma. I'm going to need a bigger ship. Or maybe this is going to teach me about diplomacy. Um, I shall become an agent and I can go and make them free. The void. Because um, I think that diplomacy is one of the new things added in Fardom's legacy. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. So it's like it is. But we'll find it. Entering the Void Delta. Once you get into 25 You are everything. talking to the automated interaction system. Make your... What do you require? I have found the jump gate. That is great news. We must explore the system behind it. Hopefully we will find a way home. I have explored the system a little. It leads to a Paranet colony, but the Paranet were hostile and didn't give me a chance to explain the situation. That is a pity, but I have an idea. Fly to the Void Beta and find a Paranet called Cremanculanx. In his heyday, he was quite influential, and I am sure you could convince him to help you. I will search the database for more information and send you everything I find about him. I'll be on my way. Send me all the details you find. Go and find a punk ass bitch who will butter you up to iron and table. Yeah. Incoming message. Jesus. I have searched the corporation database and have, but have found very little information about the in there. His background is unclear, but his name first appears in a report from early 764 NT. By a failed exploration mission to Zarzen, a planet in the consecrated fire system. This suggests that his home system may also be located somewhere in the second duchy. Details of his later career are somewhat vague, but he shows up in several military research articles leading to the Parnet Jump Kit project of 765 NT which resulted in a connection to the Terran home system. After that, there is a three year gap. When he next appears in 768NT, he has advanced through several military ranks. Commands a frigate. Entering the void, Beta. You'll finish reading this. Um, at this point, his name only features in rather uneventful reports involving patrol missions within Paranet core systems. In 772NT, he apparently left the military and started a career as a diplomatic agent, initially working only for the Paranet government. He later expands his portfolio to cover various corporations, specifically Artez, Shipbuilding Currents, John Ferco, and Strong Arms. At the end of 778NT, he vanishes again, only to show up a year later here in his isolated system. This all sounds rather dubious to me, if I had to hazard a guess, based on his enigmatic history and irregular yet high-ranking military career. I would say that Kremenglidde worked for the Paranet Secret Service. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he had worked for the priest Emperor Czar himself as an agent. He certainly has the knowledge and the charisma to have done so. Brother Hansela was one of the worst of the others to be stranded here just a week or so after I arrived. To be frank, when I first met him, he didn't seem all that lost or confused, more like he was looking for something. His persuasive nature was not immediately apparent to me, but after a while I noticed the way that he subtly influenced everyone he talked to to get what he wanted. Using these skills, he gathered information, obtained his own office on one of the abandoned stations, and even acquired a private docking bay for his ship. If there is anyone who will be able to help us persuade the Paranet to grant us access to their systems, it'll be him. So that sounds like he'll become an agent. But you'll be able to access, you know, through here. But anyway. Solar power plant. You are talking to the automated interrupt. What do you want to? 
Uh, very charismatic. Um, I found the gate to the Paranet system, but without your help, we have little chance of being welcomed back. Why should I help you? Mainly because I'm the only one who knows the location of this gate, and therefore I'm the only one who can help you to leave this unholy place. I can't just go back. I was sent on a mission to retrieve something valuable to stop the gate shutdown. Without it, my presence in any Paranet sector is less than useful to you. Maybe Hoa Ni knows a way. Really? You know, all this interspace fucking travel and, you know... I can't make long-range flipping communication devices. I mean, we could jump drive. But no, I can't, can't talk to someone over there. Uh. Entering the Void Delta. You imagine trying to do this in a trader ship? You are talking to the... What do you require? I have found... Blah, 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 blah. However, he won't help us without getting something in return. He wants a valuable item that is required to halt the git shutdown. Unfortunately, I have no idea what that item is. Let me guess. I have just come across a document which re refers to such an item. I do not know what he is referring to either. However, while you are away, I had a look at some research papers that were among the data from the headquarters. Did you find anything useful? They indicate that the first scans of this system have shown an unusual mineral concentration in the system's asteroids. Due to the jump gate problems, this was not investigated further. Maybe you can find something interesting enough there to please Kromankalangs. I'll scan some asteroids. Maybe one will contain something of interest. Scan an asteroid with what scanner exactly? Oh, that scanner. Makes sense. You are talking to the. What do you, do you wish to take the job? Oh, cool. Um. If I realized I had a mineral scanner, I really should have looked to see what I actually had and made a mental note. Um, I probably would have done. See, I can't remember if it's the first half hour that didn't actually record. Entering or, the um, Void Epsilon Plankton Farm M Alpha. Or if it was something else. Or, yeah, this one. Um, that had a Ghost Scan Asteroid mission. Which is a very easy mission to do, especially if you're in a fast ship. I cannot for the life of me remember. What symbol to have? I think it's the beast. You are talking to the. What do you require? I'm happy. I am transmitting the information you require. Um, now, do you want five I... military personnel. I don't think I have a um, life support. No, I don't have a life support. So. Transorbital accelerator. The void. Zeta. Entering the void, Zeta. Asteroid. Asteroid. Uh, silicon mine. Or silicon asteroid, rather. Asteroid. 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 I shall be back when I find Asteroid. whatever it is I'm looking for. Ooh, second. Well, yeah, probably two seconds. Scan complete. Attention. There we go. Mine detected. Mine detected? What do you mean, mine detected? So, oh, there's artifacts. Relics of ancient civilizations it's a medium for the werewolf volume of four. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah. Artifacts. There's a mean mind detective is in you. Know, mind that'll blow you with a shit up. Asteroid. Asteroid. Artifacts. Cargo bay now contains artifacts. Baron, space fly protectors. Okay then. Um, now we are on our way back. Entering the void. Epsilon. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. And I'm going to um, dock and save and call the episode there. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe for more. And I shall hopefully see you in the next episode. Peace.